This will probably be the last quest I do on the stream. It is 4.14 right now. I'm ending my stream at 5 o'clock. I again hope I'm providing just a little bit of entertainment uh, for you. Understand that, uh, I can understand if 100%ing uh, stuff isn't really all that interesting, but I'm trying to make the best flow I have. Did I just hear a dragon? No? Okay. I've had moments, really, really funny moments, where a dragon attacked a college winter hole. And it's really freaking badass when freaking all, every single mage at the College of Winterhold just unleash against a dragon with destruction magic. These mages can really make dragons their, uh, well, let's just say, uh, their female dog. I'm trying to censor myself. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, if I really hope that does happen. It's just, I really don't like dragons attack attacking uh, holds. Like, I've had one attack, uh, Windhelm. I've had dragon attack, uh, White Run. Of all things, believe it or not, I had a dragon attack when I was doing a Civil War fight on this attack in a fort. But the most entertaining thing, by far, is seeing a dragon attack the College of Winter Winter Hold, and I'm really hoping that happens. Clear. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? This, uh, is related to a side quest I will do later. He will send you out. Actually, hold on. I, I, I'm second-guessing myself. Uh, since Hope Deer is unavailable, I've been asked by Mirabal Irvine to look into information. Okay. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's go- I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. Huh. I don't remember this. He was an apprentice here at the college. Not very skilled, but got involved with a group of mages who took a liking to him. When they left, he took off after them. Stole supplies and books from the college. I suppose as a way to ingratiate himself. Let's just call it a difference of opinion with the college. They were interested in research that goes outside the bounds of what the college allows, so they were persuaded to leave. So, either this or this will lead to his side quest. I'm not sure which one it is, but I will be doing that later. Not enough to bother with. Archmage Aaron's approach to these things is just to let them sort themselves out. Although now it looks like you'll be doing the sorting. Good luck with that. Okay, the question. Uh, let's see what it actually has. Assorted have. books, scrolls. I'm sure you'll find something useful. Uh, what do you have? Uh, not really all that interesting stuff. I was hoping you would have spell books, but I really don't care about any of this. All right then. All right, so uh, on to fight a bunch of mages. You there. I have questions for you. You were in Sarko, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. Uh, I... Uh... 
gonna be honest with him. I am well aware. Tolfdir is still in Sarthorn, is he? I shall be expecting a full report from him when he returns. It is my job to know these things. My role as advisor to the Archmage is aided by knowing everything that transpires here. Thank you for your help. You may go now. Something that is kind of interesting to me. This guy, uh, when I was last here, when I left uh, seeing the... This is... Okay. When I was last here, when I uh, was... Uh, seeing the Archmage for the first time, talking about Sarthal. I left to the Hall of the Elements, and this lady said that, uh, she said that, uh, to, uh, war uh, be careful what you say around Ancano, and she mentioned that he may be, uh, where is this? That he may be, uh, giving away information uh, about the... You may be giving away information to the, uh, Thalmor, which is like a high elf boy band. It's not really what it is, but it's just... For lack of a better term, what I call it. But I just... How he is dressed, he's even dressed like a Thalmor. I really can't help but feel like that... They... If they were trying to, like, hide the fact that he was working for the Thalmor, they should have done a better job dressing him. Because he's just, he's obviously, like, his clothes are just so similar to the robes of a Thalmor. Now. That is... I'm just uh, looking at the map. I don't think that will take me where I need to go. There's got to be a path up here somewhere. I want to try and finish this quest in this stream. Let's see if I can do some mountain climbing. Uh, I know there's some uh, slaughterfish in this river and mud crabs apparently. You can actually see them on the map. Or on the uh, radar. Okay. Yes, this is where I need to go. Is she gonna wait an hour for Lydia? There she is. Ooh, a dragon. What the? A levitating a mammoth who just what the f were you levitating too? I mean, I've seen my fair share of glitches, but holy crap! Are you actually dead, or am I gonna get murked? You're actually dead. Uh, I don't see any giants here, but I've never seen that glitch before. Freaking mammoth levitating and dying of fall damage. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen that before. Will you stop freezing me? You are so annoying. I cannot stand ice mages. Really, I keep on bringing this up. It's just always find mobility affecting things. Is so annoying. 
You are so weak. I honestly forgot that happened. I guess so. I kind of got a little startled uh, hearing that astronaut blow up. I almost forgot he. I guess they're genderless. I also forgot they did that. I'm actually, not going to use Carol Life just yet. Oh God, why? I, I have to check, hold on. Did I actually get points from the Frostbite Spiders? I did not. Just uh, looking around for anything of interest, I can take these soul gems. Really, probably don't need more than what I have. I don't really care about um, magic items that much. And also, gem steals re re restore charge. But, uh, might be useful down the line. This is wooden door, not leading to another area. Now we need kill light. Uh, iron armor, uh, banded iron armor. Did you just step on your own trap? You are dumb. Hold on, what? Oh, I'm backtrack. Ah. Okay, let's save again. Not load. I have 25 gems. 25 gems. Uh, 25 lockpicks. Twenty-four lockpicks. Only lost one. Level 14. Uh, boosting health, everything is balanced. Uh, again, how I do, uh, how I choose uh, levels, I'd like to keep everything balanced. So, uh, next skill point is going to be magic, next skill point is going to be uh, stamina. Then I'll go back to health. It doesn't hurt to uh, uh, increase my armor rating. Even though it should really be. Well, I'm not really using light armor yet. The heck? Is that a vampire? Or is that. I think those are vampires. Just looking at those red eyes. I don't think I should let them out. I don't think they'd be too grateful. Oh, 
I have a sweet and our gold, but thank you anyway. Uh, this is useless. Ah, uh, Clippers. Let's see what do you have as a weapon. Still here. I am sworn to carry your burden. Oh, you are actually... Look at you now. Okay, let's see. Steel sword. You're still not using this. Oh! Well, that kind of makes sense. Because she's using a bow right now. She has steel arrows equipped. But she had a sword out to what it had with Jordan. Yeah, that makes more sense. And take this back and give her the Dwarven Maze. It'll give her more damage. Lead on. Let me actually look at the map. Ah! It would help if I opened my eyes and saw the store. Alright. Just heard Lydia just kill someone, so it looks like her mace is uh, put to good use. No gold. You are messing with vampires. Thank God I didn't let those guys out. I I will be getting being a vampire later when I do the stinking Dawn Guard DLC. But I hate vampirism in Skyrim. It's just always annoyed me. It's like in my opinion, like being a werewolf is vastly superior to a vampire because at least then you won't get burned by being in the sun. I don't know, since I always found uh, vampires to be kind of lame. Can handle a wolf just fine. Well, you are a master of the dead now. Okay, Master of the Arcane Myers. I am the Dragonborn. I pretty much top anything to do with magic. There's something to bring up. I always got so confused. They made such a big deal about the Dragonborn in, uh, in Skyrim. But it's just... I remember the very first cutscene in the game when you are in Helgen. You hear uh, General Tolias telling Ulfric Stormcloth that he used the power of his voice, literally what a dragonborn does, uh, to kill the previous High King Torig. It's like. It just always struck me as odd. Because this is, does that mean that. Uh, Old Frick Stormcloak is a Dragonborn too. Like, why are they not making a big deal about that? Why is it only everyone always excited about the hero being a Dragonborn? You would think if Old Frick Stormcloak was actually a Dragonborn as well, then people would just their reactions be uh, less uh, exciting, I guess, or less excited. If it's, I guess, more common. I don't know. It's just, 
And especially like the guards after you kill your first dragon, they make it sound like you're the first dragonborn seen in the past. Uh, you're the first dragonborn seen in the past as uh, thousands or hundreds of years or whatever. I said, really? <laughs> then what the heck is Open Shorn Folk? I always just so confused me so much. I don't know everything about the lore of. Uh, I almost said Assassin's Creed. I don't know everything about the lore of uh, Skyrim, but it's just I always get so confused whenever I re uh, hear that. I don't know if anyone has the same uh, reaction where they just always confused with that segment, or I'm just like the only one who just fails to understand. That part of Skyrim story, but it's, it's, it always confused me. Okay, looks like we are at the second half of this dungeon, uh, and we have forty. Four minutes left to wait. I'm sorry, I can do math. Twenty five minutes left to stream. Forty four minutes. Oh, that was a hell of an insult, Lydia. Uh, can I actually... No. Uh, I was hoping I could, like, learn that and just get rid of it, but... No noticeable effects from looking at it. Oh, that, that confused me for a second. I, thought, I don't know why I thought I was looking at Lydia's inventory. I'm so confused. Oh, I'm so dumb sometimes. Doors to oblivion. Be nice if I get another level. Probably won't happen, though. At least not in this stream. Hi. Would you like to meet my sword? Now I could be passing up key the key I need. Uh I just won't even know it. dead and you don't even know it. Ow. Fun little fact about uh, lightning damage. It drains your magic if you couldn't tell. you can look this up I honestly say honest I said honestly twice in one sentence 
or two sentences, but uh, I can't remember if uh, I don't even have that. But I need to look up what the base damage is for the Conjure Sword. Because when I do get it, if it's better than the Oath Keeper, whatever this sword is called, it might be worth uh, using until we get a better sword. Again, I've done an entire playthrough where I just uh, use Conjure Spells. Like, I've done like entire playthrough where I was just using Conjure Sword and Conjure Familiars. It is possible, it's just... It's only kind of fun. It kind of has a little bit of a challenge. I, I, was, I always love watching challenge videos on YouTube. There's this YouTuber has the greatest name ever, uh, Mod Dry Bread. And uh, he did a playthrough where he beat uh, Skyrim or Oblivion with only illusion magic, and that was impressive. It's just uh, half this, if you can think of a challenge for any other Souls game, it's probably possible. Don't expect me to do a challenge playthrough for any other Souls game. So you're the one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. Well, they're waste nice themselves. to meet you. Names no longer matter. You may refer to me as the Caller. Now, do you have a reason for making such a mess? So you're just one of Aaron's lackeys. That's disappointing. You show real promise. Well, you're going to be dead in a second. Kill my assistants. Disrupt my work. You've annoyed me, so I don't think I'll be giving you anything. May I please have the book? Um, uh, perhaps we can. Uh, I gotta go with that. I'm afraid you don't have anything worth trading. Now you can go back to your college and leave me be, or I can kill you. Your uh, lady, with all due respect. With all due respect, I am the Dragonborn. I'm gonna kill oh, you. Now we're all please and thank you, are we? I'm afraid we're well beyond pleasantries. Flipping I'll off the character. The opportunity to turn around, walk out that door, and never come back. I suggest you move quickly. I was being polite, lady. Are you attempting lady. to threaten me? After I've been so hospitable. You were literally you threatening to kill me. All. Are you an idiot? You are freaking weak. You are pathetic for a boss. Holy shit. And you healed yourself. That's not gonna help you. You're dead. What? Uh, no, 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 no. I saw the animation. You're dead. You do not get to live. I literally saw the execution animation. Just really? How the heck did she survive that? Knocked your book off. I am legitimately accused. Confused. How she survived that. I swear to God, I saw it, uh, the execution. Excuse me. I swear to God, I saw the execution animation. I came from over there. Please. 
Yes, please. Uh, <laughs> ah, God. Uh, you know what that means. Lydia! Still here. I am sworn. Can you actually wear enchanted steel armor? I am at your command. Yeah, you can. But that doesn't show it's enchanted. Oh, right. <laughs> that was fun. God, that was kind of disappointing. It's got a little bit more of a challenge. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, it puts me here. I'm gonna go back through this because there's a locked door I saw I required a key I think it's in this Lydia please I know you're an airhead but still I'm gonna try and find that locked door and see what's on the other side of it because now that I have the key I should be able to open it No, but there is this. It's... Okay, I swear to God, if it's just gonna have like crappy armor, I'm just reloading a save. One down, I have 24 lock picks left. Wow, oh, I lost one. Uh, food that I don't care about. You know, I'm probably just. I may need it. You never know if I run out of potions. I don't need that bowl, though. I have two bowls in my inventory. I have a shrine here. Weird place for a shrine. Oh, hello. Okay, this is more worth it. Do I actually have steel boots equipped? Yeah, I do. Uh, so I'm just taking that to sell. That's probably not going to be it. Okay, there's... Is that, I think I have one. Just my memory is god-awful. Wow. There we go. Wow. Uh, I I will say, uh, I don't think that was worth it. I maybe could. That was essentially only worth thirty five gold. Uh, they're trying to do a mental markdown of this conjuration thing when I sell it. 
that honestly wasn't worth it in my eyes. I mean, if it was like a hundred gold, then sure. That was just really bad. I swear to God, like thirty uh, things worth thirty, I will probably only get like ten as sore. So uh, that's not worth it in my eyes. I pretty much almost got like half uh, what was in that chest, just in that coin purse. Yeah, uh, just looking for more coins at this point. All right, let's go out on and complete this quest uh, before I uh, run out of time. Uh, something, uh, since this quest is already going to be the last thing I do uh, for this live stream, uh, uh, just a little reminder, uh, Tomorrow I will be streaming uh, Borderlands 3 where I'll be playing as Moe's and I'll be doing that for 100%. I already uh, finished the uh, main story and I'm working on the DLC right now and uh, I'll be streaming that at 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time. I will be streaming uh, Spiral Reignited Trilogy for the final time and honestly I only have two three, four things left to do in this game. It would really surprise me if it takes longer than two hours to finish that. Uh, finish that story. Uh, finish that game. So, uh, I'll be playing that game for the final time from 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time on Sunday. The next game that I'm planning on covering on this channel is Assassin's Creed Revelations. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was the first game I completed on the channel. So my next uh, series will be going back to the Ezio collection to play Assassin's Creed Revelations. All my games are for 100%. So if you're uh, remotely a bit interested in any of the things I mentioned, Feel free to go ahead and uh, check it out. In the meantime, this uh, turning in this quest is gonna be the last thing I do for this stream. If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. So, if you uh, remotely enjoyed uh, what you have seen, feel free to give me a follow and check me out next time or in one of my other streams. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. Money? I suppose you've earned these. Money? You gave me a book? Oh, that's worse than getting clothes for Christmas. Ah. Oh, why can't we... I mean, I understand it's like the librarian, but still. That's disappointing. Fight well. Alright, well. Did, did they actually give me skills, at least? Or are they just stories? That's not that bad, then. If they're all skill books, and that actually makes it worth it. Oh, that's one I picked up. Oh, they boost all my things. Alright. Well, that, that was a little bit more worth it. So uh, that's going to do it for this stream. I mentioned at the beginning of the stream that I do have an unscheduled stream coming up. Uh, all that is is just me uh, testing this new uh, application I downloaded called Soundtrack by Twitch. How this is supposed to work if you link it to OBS, my streaming program, 
If I play games like GTA 5, from what I understand, it will uh, replace the music played in that game with the music and the uh, radio stations found in soundtrack by uh, Twitch. Which will hopefully allow me to play games with copyright strong songs without getting copyright strikes or DMCA takedowns. I uh, need to only get three DMCA uh, violations in order to have my channel permanently shut down. And I can fight that if it does happen. But because of the fact that I've never had a copyright strike or I've never had a DMCA violation... I think I'll be fine, and all I will be doing uh, is streaming GTA 5 for 30 minutes with that uh, app running. And I'm hoping that it will uh, 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 allow me to uh, stream uh, GTA 5, for example, uh, and uh, have, like, say, Hollywood Nights by Bob Seger, because I know that's a copyright song on GTA 5. It will allow me to play that song uh, without me getting a violation because that song will be taken out or muted and replaced with a song and the uh, soundtrack by Twitch. That's how I'm hoping it's going to work. I'm going to be streaming for 30 minutes and it's going to be an unscheduled stream. So uh, if you see my channel just uh, not being active or if you follow me and you can see my streams. Worst case scenario, my channel uh, probably got shut down, but I will try and fight it uh, off if it uh, is. And uh, hopefully this works out because I would really love to be able to play games like Far Cry 3, uh, as uh, Saints Row uh, 3 or something. It's just, I really would like to have like a more options of games to play. On this channel rather than just games with uh, custom soundtracks so uh, that's really all that's going on so again if you are at all interested in what I see what you see I will be streaming Skyrim once again next Friday 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time I will be streaming Borderlands 3 modes where I'll be playing for the 100% at 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time on Saturday and I'll be streaming Spiral Reignited Trilogy for the last time on Sunday, 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time. I hope to see some of you guys there. In the meantime, I'm in the stream.